Hello friends, this is Adrian with SoCal Backyard Orchard here in North County, San Diego in the city of Vista Climate Zone 10 and right now you're looking at my ice cream bean tree it's a really beautiful tree, it has nice shiny bronze colored uh, new growth on it and then the older leaves are more the older leaves get darker in color as you can see and they are pretty large almost the size of my my entire hand about the size of a, of a nice large avocado leaf and it almost looks like an avocado leaf actually it's a very fast growing tree. This guy has been in the ground only about two years. And look at the, the size of the trunk. It was a tiny little guy. It was only about 12 inches tall in a one gallon container for ten dollars at exotica nursery here in vista if you guys are looking for some rare fruit trees google um, exotica nursery in vista and they have a lot of different varieties of rare and exotic fruit trees from all over the world so check them out it's a really nice tree. It's gonna grow very large, probably at least about 30 feet. And they're pretty wide spreading too. And this is April 17th today. So this time of year is when this, this tree is producing fruit for us. Here's one I just picked and they start off green of course like most other fruits and it starts to turn yellow oh, you want to hold it all right let me let me keep showing it real quick it's this one i gently pulled it and it came off the tree but i don't think it's fully fully ripe yet we've been i mean since it's the first time it's fruiting for us and we're really excited about them we've been we've been picking them before they fully ripen you know because i mean it doesn't have a ton of fruit on it yet being the first time it fruits look at that it's got a, about three right there but as soon as they start turning a little yellow we've been picking them So right now the tree can't keep up with us. There's another, another nice one up there. That can't one's, reach it? No, I can't re reach it. I could probably pull the branch down, but I'll do that in a minute. It's gonna be hard holding the camera and doing that at the same time, so. Anyways, hopefully I get to try some fully ripe ones because I've, I've seen these fully ripe. They're pretty much all, all yellow. All right, we're gonna eat it right now, okay? okay? Anyways, that's the ice cream bean tree. And um, it's a nitrogen fixer, very fast grower. And it does well here in Southern California. All right, so what I do is I just put the fruit in between my hands and I squeeze it to open it up and once there's an opening I just use my my thumb and open up the fruit and as you can see there's a pretty good size seed right there it looks like a bug yeah the seeds are, are kind of ugly looks like a cockroach or a, a black beetle or something really weird looking seeds 
and actually some of them I don't think this one has any like that but some of them you'll see the little the little root start growing out of the seed so there you go let's show them the show them that part it's kind of it kind of kind of looks like banana and let me try a piece it looks like you're eating a piece of, of banana if you can see but it's definitely a lot juicier than a banana it looks like banana or something or you can see that one right there that one if I plant it in the ground it'll probably start growing pretty quickly it looks like it's gonna be the texture of like banana but it's much juicier kinda like cotton candy when you put it in your mouth it kinda just melts into your mouth and it's really sweet cotton candy doesn't melt cotton candy melts in your mouth when you eat it. Um, I can't really describe what it tastes like. Let me let me try another little piece. What does it taste like to you, Brianna? It tastes like fluffiness. There you go. It tastes like fluffiness. In juice. It does taste like vanilla, right? It does taste like vanilla. I'm gonna have another piece. I'm gonna have the last piece. I mean, it's a very unique fruit, I think. It does taste a little like vanilla and something else, I don't know. You guys will just have to go out and get get yourself a tree and it's one of those trees that like I mentioned earlier it's gonna produce pretty quickly for you there you go we finished the whole fruit and what I want to do is I want to make some juice out of it we like um, passion fruit juice so I was wondering what it would taste like if I mix in some ice cream bean with the passion fruit or ice cream bean with juice. pineapple or something else we'll see well anyways that's the ice cream bean and you can do what uh, drink kind of drink whatever you want yeah whatever you want that's Wait. the ice cream bean guys this is gonna turn into mulch and um Wait, what's mulch? i really like it and i really like the tree too i mostly like the tree just the beauty of it it's over there I can't really see it it's over there on on the other side of the the lemon tree but uh, it's a very beautiful addition to my backyard I'm very happy with it it's a low care tree I don't water it too much I don't want to say it's drought tolerant it, it's on the lower section of my of my um, backyard orchard so a lot of the moisture rolls downhill another one another one um see she likes them she wants another one hold on let me finish this quick video and we'll go find another one okay so anyways guys that's the ice cream bean growing right here in san diego california don't forget to subscribe guys leave your comments and hit that like button